Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to game one of Bet Boom versus LGD. This is the upper bracket finals. It should be phenomenal, right? This tournament so far, both of these teams, they've been stepping it up more than ever. They're being consistent and now getting to see them go head to head with these two lineups. What are you expecting, Avery? I mean, these are the two best teams of the tournament, hands down, right? They have gaming waiting for them, but this is already off to the blood fest that I expect. I mean, I think his job is basically to shut down Phantom Lancer. So whatever he, whatever itemization it feels like is going to slow down the peel and the fights the most, he's probably going to go for here. So that's probably Radiance and at some point Shiva's guard, but he might do that play mill in between. Now go back up here from Toronto Tokyo. Planet came in with a rotation, but TP's coming from Bet Boom. They turn it around and GPK is set up to take nothing to say down. Is it strong in the early laning phase? Definitely not LGD strength. They're like the 15 to 30 minute mark. Well, this aggression here. I mean, TP responses are definitely going to be coming in from PSG LGD. Aggressive dive. play here from the Morph, trying to go in for Neo. The Ancient Steel's there, Nightfall. He's building up the strength. But he's only got so much to build up, and with the TPs coming Amanda. in, he'll get chased down, he'll turn with one final adaptive strike, but he is gone. PSG LGD, they'll shut down Bet Boom's aggression around the tier one. And then you get double wisdom for Bet Boom here, so that's pretty nice. I mean, I don't know if Nightfall feels too bad about it, but that is a big kill to give to the Visage, who was really struggling down there in the one-on-one. -on -one. Like I was saying, these side lanes for LGD are a problem right now. The next three minutes especially, if you decide to linger, you are just getting... Your ass. I mean, Shiro, he's just straight up dead here. <laughs> Pure and save. Just run him out of the lane. I mean, a, a great awareness there to abuse the fact that, of course, earlier the TP, TP's coming in from PSG LGD supports, taking them down bottom. They knew there was there was no one. There was going to be no help yeah, for that poor old PL. At least one of these cores off the lane for Pep Boon. It's either the more for the Necro. It's just going to require a lot of numbers at this point. You also don't have those support ultis, which is all your damage in the early game. I mean, they're going to go again, and now with the level 6 on Toronto Tokyo, they've got the extra bit of control with the Nether Strike. Another kill to take down Niu. And the early utility, it's going to come in for Pep Boom here. I mean, you have an Atos being built on GPK. The way Nightfall's being involved in these fights, all three cores for Pep Boom are happy to join these engagements. And finally, LGD are going to bring some numbers. Yeah, trying to get something to to happen here around, nothing to say Zemba. Jones forward with the Remnants, closing in on to save in Toronto Tokyo, another Remnant to help finish off the Rubik. Everybody here chasing down Toronto, Tokyo, and Nightfall. Another set of the Searing Chains as the Ancient Seal will do it. It's PSG LGD able to find a bit of an opening uh, around the, the power of the Ember. So May set them up. I mean, Nightfall and reveal on the lane. Yeah, this is pretty slow by LGD. I mean, that boom has smoked their tide all the way back down here, and he has that blink. I mean, you, you do see the it's response deadly. from PSG LGD. As, as soon as they see Nightfall show and start yeah, to hit yeah, the creeps, they're like, all right, this lad is not on his own. We need to get out of here. So they immediately bail on this operation. That's just more benefit for Bet Boom. If yep. Nightfall can show aggressively and they get space, he's going to lead into the high ground. He's actually able to take out one of the familiars there with the anchor smash. He's going to just try and set up straight away with the Meteor Hammer onto Why You Smile. Telekinesis helps keep the Undying in position. Slider Fist is there into the Mystic Flare. They've taken out Save. Oh, that Reaper. Reaper Sypho straight down onto Way the prime target. Good. Takes Shiro out of the action. As this fight now, not an easy one for PSG LGD to continue to stick around with. They've lost two of their heroes. One being the carry with Shiro trying to get involved, but GPK, he was having none of that. I think Pure got a lot of those Ancients, too. <laughs> I think he was hammering the Ancients they more than more. He... Yeah, I mean, why not? Beyond the tower, straight in, the setup's there from Pure. As they take out Neo. They don't need to take these risks right now with the lead that Bet nope. have. No need to, to throw these ults out for these single kills. Maybe they know they're in a comfortable spot. And they much rather take these fights where LGD are forced into them. Like, this is aggressive positioning. It is going to get immediately punished by Bet Boom. I mean, you cannot push a tower right now that casually, especially versus the Spear Breaker, who can guarantee the vision. TP1 hero, you're just stuck in a bad engagement. And he's trying to make it up on the other end. I save. Get caught by the chains, but stolen chains used in turn to hold back. Nothing to say. That just feels bad. Yeah, they can't quite kill him. Save. He's able to walk off. As uh, PSG OGD don't want to jump up into the high ground. A bottom lane, Shiro, he's been found by Toronto Tokyo Knight for the bash is there. Ooh. As Shiro out again, top lane pure this time round. He'll use the setup. The follow ups there from GPK with the scythe. Both the mid and the carry eliminated once again. On top of that, Rubik living. As you said, truly. And he's back in. Now the mini undying. Turns into the un undying zombie himself. The kills just continue to roll in here for Bet Boom. Yeah, there's just no room to operate. I mean, the second your NTS Ember's off the map, everything is going to collapse here for LGD. It's just a feeding frenzy for Toronto, Tokyo. Nothing is stopping this spear breaker right now. Nice, looking rough. Nope. Very little chances of escape it. I mean, look who's waiting behind. A little Necrophos to get some extra heart stopper region, or at least attempt to. That Radiance was finished by GPK. These tombstones are going to melt if they are not displaced somehow. And look, 
Little cheeky Roche force, yeah, they, but... They're going to try for this, but Bet Boom. Nightfall knows. They're very aware. And they do have the ults with the ready already. Toronto Tokyo Nightfall starting to try and push them out of the pit. Backups coming in. PSG OG, they've got to get out of here. Planet won't have the luxuries. He gets blown up in the pit. They've got the catch onto why you smile as both supports will fall. And it looks like maybe not all the cores will get out. They're looking towards Neo. We managed to use the familiars to hold back both GPK and Pure. Get a little bit of a flash of vision there with the Meteor Hammer, but Neo, he's got enough for the TV, but a what? great charge across the map for Toronto Tokyo. Clips him at the what? edge of the charge. Sets up for GPK to take him out with the Reaper Scythe. That was uh, instant awareness there for Toronto Tokyo. They spot you. Anyway. They're just kind of scaring me right now. <laughs> <laughs> See what they can do around this mid lane. Pure, level 15. Oh, he's got those tendrils online too. Looking for even more lockdown with what I assume is a hex here. And heart done for GPK. Good luck getting the damage through this man. Ah, he's massive. Yet to die this game, of course, 5-0, five, 5. Yeah, when GPK has zero deaths, you know you're in trouble. That is not a good sign for you. They're going to charge through on Shiro. It does finish the Ags. They get the setup. Will he get to use it? They got the tendrils. They're keeping him locked down. The Reaper Scythe there. And Shiro out for 50. Another kill for GPK. Getting those stacks up. As they're going to be ready to push towards the high ground pretty shortly. This is just a straight out class right here. That Ember pick getting massively exposed. As GPK puts on a Necro Clinic, the pipe will finally be finished for new. That is a big piece of the puzzle here, but this is very late. As Bet Boomer immediately punishing your base. Yep, no, no reason to go anywhere. With the Ravage still at the ready. Bet Boom more than happy to take any sort of fight the PSG LG throw themselves into. The racks, they're going. So is Planet. Dive forward here with the, the, the waveform. And now, even though that they have Shiro back up, Doesn't they don't have, have the full lineup. You can start the poke here, throw the slights and throw the lances and drain some mana. That's decent damage to Nightfall, but he's still got the, the Aegis to rely on. Jump forward, they're looking for the Undying, they've got him. GPK with a double. Even the hammer landing They're going here. for more. Ooh, they push forward. Deep. They're surrounding Neo and Shiro. There's the Ravage catching the two of them. Shiro's gone. Neo as well. They're running That's out of buybacks. It. They're running out of everything. GG is called Bet Boom. Come in. Incredibly explosive here in this game one. 26 to 6. 27k lead. 25 minutes in. This is Bet Boom at, at peak former. Yeah, here, here really Avery. There was no stopping them in this game. One of the cool things of five Avas, if he gets Ravage, he can just pop his ulti and then shield the Morphling or something and save him from situations like that. But that boom having a silence makes that a lot more difficult. I mean, and what, one of the differences we're seeing as well this time round, kind of uh, switched around the other way. You know, with GPK playing the mid Ember last game, when nothing to say was on his Ember. So that pre-level six row, we had all these supports coming over to the mid. Yep, this yep. game, we're not seeing any support rotations towards this mid lane. What was the difference here? I think the side lanes are a lot more support dependent. Like both these teams want to play those duel on duels because they want to start to ramp up the pressure as we go into the later stages of this. And this time around, new he has got the backup of white smile. We'll be able to offer up the shield, help him out a little bit, but it's not enough. First blood goes to Bet Boom as Toronto Tokyo is able to finish the kill. See why you smile and planet. Try and chase Nightfall down. He's going to have Primal Spring up in a second. He's going to be able to dodge that Mist Coil back under the tower. He'll be fine. Setting up kills for your team. He can maybe counterplay it, but you can't counterplay double damage. I mean, over in the mid. I'll be able to pressure back. Nothing to say. He's going to think about the rolling thunder, but he'll get caught by the jumper save. Finally, the thunder comes out. Will manage to, to escape. Has to keep his distance though. GPK is going to have Slider Fist back up in a second, but the support backup's there. There's nothing to say. Will be shielded up, safe. This is pretty awkward. Trying to hide in that bit of a corner on the high ground, but he will get found. They'll take him out. So they'll get save, and they will keep nothing to say alive. Get back in his action. Did split the wisdom runes. So they got that going for him this time around. Let's hope they know the news alone. This is the problem. You leave this Beastmaster alone, he's just going to get run down. There's nothing he can do in this matchup. That planet turns up. A little too far away and a little too late. As GPK had zero deaths. But the issue is the lockdown for the Ember is not great here either. It's a lift. So I feel like GPK is going to have similar freedom. You just need the ult. They're just man. going in. Neo, the shield's there in time, but the chains come out afterwards. Neo, he's going to be going down. Boundless strike. Plus and two. the Wukongs come on. Both taken out of the lane. <laughs> this game's getting even more brutal quicker than it did in game one. It's Orphan Neo down here. See what they can do around this tier one push. There's nothing to say. He considers going with the ult, but he actually stops it. This might cost him his life. It will. Global silence is there. I guess he felt the first time round that Global would have been there anyway, so finishing it wouldn't have done him any favors. He's gone. 
maybe he just feels like he has. He'd rather die and have the ult up. I mean, maybe. And use it too. Like, the way this game is going, pressuring all the lanes for Bet Boom. Now, Wu calling out for Planet. That's going to be another one. By the looks of it, Planet. Morant. No way to save himself. GP counter killing spree. I have to connect the team fight soon here. Your towers are dropping, your ancients are dropping. This lead is going to balloon if you do not find a core pickup. Looking for Nightfall. Did I not have a chance of getting him here. He's going to stand near the edge so the Brolin kind of bounces him out, but they'll be able to drag him back with the telekinesis. Backup's on his way though. Nightfall's still alive. He's going to be able to live. The Ravage is there. Catch is nothing to say. Nightfall's not going down as Planet. He'll hide up in the trees, and with a Primal Spring, will manage to get away a little bit. But the slight into the Quelling Blade, that GPK, making sure there's no survivors. We do not want to turn into that Monkey King this game, <laughs> the way Pet Boom are playing. Everything backfiring, man. Gotta find something. You need the Pango Diffusal. That's really it. I mean, you just get the Diffusal and pray that Pet Boom five man into some swashbuckles or something. I mean, they're, they're coming here, Bet Boom. Approaching from both sides. That's why you smile. No time to be borrowed here as he's still he's halfway through that level five. And you're getting the in steal every time you kill these supports. Well, yeah, what are we up to now? Plus he's 14. Up 14. Not bad, not bad. So that's about an in a minute here. And uh, top lane. I might be able to set up for some more in to be stolen. As Nightfall jumps in, Raw's going to be used with the globals there to keep Nightfall covered. And now the retreat has to begin for PSG LGD. Planet, he'll get caught. Plus two for Toronto Tokyo. Just save your int, boys. <laughs> Stay at home. Save the intelligence. It's just bleeding out. LGD, they're going to keep all three cores up here. Try and turn. Still missing the damage, but maybe just the nukes are enough. Guess if they can get Nightfall. This time round, it looks to be successful. Ooh. They'll That's take him out, kill. switch into the Monkey King form, and use the Boundless Strike against him. Shiro manages to find the kill. It's uh, something. Link up. Oh, I'm having trouble seeing it. <laughs> Welcome oh, to the world. They're gonna of get the jump though. Shiro was not ready for that one. He was indeed not. But we have level six for Y, so you know, small victories here for LGD. At least they can hold their head high during that Abaddon ult. Let's bet Boom continue to run over the map. My GPK is. He's gonna be ready to chase this. Slight chains, why you smile? He's got the shield. Um, he will try and turn was considering a roar. I think it's better he died without you roaring. I think so. <laughs> nothing was going to be saved there, even if he gets his ult off. Absolutely nothing. And they also find why you smile's courier, so that's going to be the Pavis put on a hold for a bit. Well, it's a couple deaths in Dota. That's just comeback going. Ah, that's true. We've, you know, just fattening up the enemy for those potential big juicy kills. Ooh. Not getting out of here. Or maybe. Swashbuckle. Yeah, wand. Yeah, he's got a full wand and a rolling thunder. He won't get either of them off. I mean, it's got to be Ags on Shiro. That has to be the turning point, right? Get the Ags on the Morphling. He's close. Stat steal the Monkey King, and then suddenly you're taking a lot of damage away from Bepu and gaining a lot for yourself. It's going to be a powerful item in this game. I mean, not the position that LG want to be getting that item in, but it's still going to be very strong. Problem is, Aegis is up for 50. Bepu, we're going to push a BKB for Nightfall here. It's just so hard to take down, especially with Glimmer four staff behind him and that Greaves from Pure. And there goes the fortification. So Bet Boom. No reason to hold back now. They'll keep the push going. Pure's looking for the jump in. They found Planet. They'll take out the Rubik. Not gonna be alive for any sort of potential steal on this defense. Abusing that Aegis period. They know LG do not want to take the five on five yet, especially with Mew trying to farm up his own BKB and Shiro trying to finish this Ags. He needs 10 more gold. Uh, this Rax is gone. Not in time. The pokes from NTS will not dissuade Bet Boom enough. They get what they came for. That Ag's done for Morphling. Maybe LGD can commit on a chase? It's just so damn hard. Uh, they can't dive any further outside of the base. Not whilst these ults are up for Bet Boom, whilst Pure's got the Ravage ready. They just have to let him take the Rax and back off. Bet Boom not to be punished at all. At least something for their troubles. They're going to bring. Some heroes in a mid. I mean, this tier one mid is still up, by the way. 30 minutes almost. Yeah, they've only taken one tower of this game, PSG LGD. Do we have the deeps? Radiant Sob. Radiant Observer here, but nobody's showing on it. So this is just a failed smoke. They missed their timing with the BKB on you and the Ags on Shiro, which means you're back to farming. 
for a next set of defensive items here. I mean, Ags on NTS will be great, and that BKB on Shiro, you're a ways away. And Pet Boomer gonna make a move of their own, which is a lot easier. Well, why you smile? Will certainly be left on his own here. Did steal the tendril. That's a nice, nice little spell to have. Yeah, I'll stun last a bit longer here. Oh, they want their wisdom rune. Shiro, he's gonna be able to grab it in time. Oh, for the boys. See if he's in any trouble here. He's gonna be able to turn. We'll be able to jump up to the trees before the global's there, they but now the he's cut. gonna get caught there. There's no way back down. Niu pops the roar to try and hold them back, but Shiro's gone and he's out for 50 with no buyback. These lanes, these lanes are far for Vetboom. That is the saving grace here for LGD. Their base is not immediately going to get hit, but GPK is going to linger here despite the tendril threat. He is not afraid and pure. This man has absolutely no fear and for good reason. They're going to have to wait for the Morphlings back up to re-engage here. They have no roar. They have no BKB on Niu either. Still waiting to have it on ult. You're just gonna have to keep poking. But this looks like another lane for Bet Boom as they continue their onslaught. 70 seconds without the global silence. I mean, you, you have to find the fight. They're gonna here. try. There's nothing to say. He's in with the, the BKB. He tries to get on top of Nightfall, but the Glimmer's there. Nightfall's back to safety. And the blink out as well. They just can't, can't get, get a catch on anyone. Just dancing around him at this point. They'll have to morph back up here, but the rack's in the middle already. Close to going down, they'll get him. Save, able to finish them off. Another melee rack's taken by Bet Boom. And this is without that Aegis. Next one's coming up in a couple of minutes. LGD still looking for their third kill at 30 minutes. This is just a clinic. Absolute clinic here. Bet Boom came to win this tournament. They are showing why. It's like I said, every series I see this team, they look better and better. I, if they get to the grand finals, I don't know. Oh yeah, good good luck. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, like, what do you take away from this series? You know, don't lose lanes. Easier said than done. No, they've got to go all in. Hex done for pure. I mean, that just makes it easier. He doesn't even have to lead with the ravage. I can just jump hex, follow up with the ravage, uh, and that's pretty much guaranteed death to to any of them. Maybe if Wyu smiles in a prime position before he can get a save off. But as we've seen so far, bet boom. Very, very good at knowing when to lay down the global and make sure that Why You Smile just has no no sort of fight to take and, and heroes to save in the midst of these team fights. Yeah, I think that's why LG are smoking here. As good as the high ground defense is most of the time, that is not a fight that's going to go well for them, especially if they give up Roche. So this is it's your desperation desperation oh smoke of the game. You're hoping to find the back line. It's a smoke of they did. They've got eyes on Toronto. Oh, that hack. Global silence. Global silence and the Hex no comes save. out. Immediate reaction there from Bet Boom. The Ravage out onto the tree. Save jumps up towards Shiro while you smile. They get the roar off onto Nightfall, but there's no damage to threaten this Monkey King. As nothing to say goes down. Neo will get chased out. Planet will ravage. jump in with a stolen Ravage, but they still he can't even kill Toronto Tokyo. Nobody goes down on Bet Boom. Triple kill for GPK. It. it is over. GG is called. Bet Boom, they take this series 2-0. to zero. And it wasn't even close. This team, they're going to be storming onwards without anything holding them back. And honestly, good luck to whoever ends up going against this team, Avery, because they, they look better than ever. We saw signs of this in the group stage. It's only improved from Bet Boom. And now they're looking unstoppable. This is a great position to be in, not just for this tournament, but for going into TI in a couple months, right? This team is finally coming alive, fulfilling the expectations that were placed on them at the start of the year, maybe feeling a little less pressure now. This is a big target to take down. LG has looked formidable this tournament. Their drafting has been all over the place.